Defensive head coach Jay Long, cornerback Connor Casey, linebacker Dylan Furrier, and wide receiver Kyle Vinich. Coach Long, if you could start us off. Well, first off, uh, I'd like to uh, thank uh, the RMAC for putting on this event. Uh, it's one of the uh, more fun things that our players get to do, and I know that our fans really enjoy it and our alumni and those type of things, so thank you for putting that on. Um, you know, first off, I'd like to start off overall talking about our defense. Our, our defense this spring, I mean, our, our defensive coordinator, Jeff Larson, and our um, secondary coach, Coach Jersey, did a terrific job this spring of, of uh, simplifying our defense. And I think by simplifying it, it really allowed our guys to be able to just play fast. And when you watch us this year on defense, you know, our defensive line, I'd say we're, we're a younger group, but I think that we're very talented. And each, each week goes on, they're going to continue to get better and better. Uh, on our linebacking core, uh, it's going to be led by Dylan Furrier, who's sitting right beside me. Uh, when we talk about players, uh, one of the terms that we like to use, we like to use the term football player, and uh, Dylan is a football player. Uh, he's one of those guys, if you throw out a football out there, you drop into a scheme in the dirt, or you uh, talk about a, a, an adjustment, uh, Dylan just finds a way to go get the football. And when you look at the other uh, two linebackers that are with him, I think that that core is going to be an exciting core uh, for our, our team and uh, you know, somebody that we're going to lean on as, as the season goes. Um, our secondary, uh, Coach Jersey does a terrific job. I, I feel that he's one of the best in, in Division II as a coach, and he'll get those guys ready and have them guys playing uh, you know, very dynamic, very fast. And uh, we are led by, we have uh, three seniors coming in uh, at that position, with two of them having a ton of experience, from Connor Casey and Cole Montgomery. And uh, both of those two guys uh, are, are both lunch bell type of players, both players that uh, every day you know that they're going to come and, and go to work. And uh, they're guys that, that uh, are, have been leaders and captains of our team and, and also guys we're going to lead on. Also a return to Ryan Wood, who was the uh, freshman RMAC defensive player uh, two years ago, and he's the second team all-conference football player last year. Uh, I think the, the best word you can strive to him is he's a, he's a hitter. And um, I know that he uh, is a guy that uh, definitely uh, is a guy that sets a tone for our defense and a guy that um, is exciting also to play. Uh, when you look at us on special teams, Special teams wise, I think this year we have a chance to be special. Uh, we have a, we're returning the all the all conference Cody Paul at return man. Uh, he's a YouTube sensation and and a guy that uh, it's like well uh, playing a video game. You hit the X button, the A button. He does the the moves and those type of things. And um, he's a, he's an exciting football player and we think can change uh, the tempo of games. Um, also, uh, we're returning uh, our, our kicker and our punter, who both have been here for four years uh, and been four-year starters. And uh, our guys, that uh, when you have a, a consistent kicking game, uh, you, know, you know that you can rely on that field position. And those two players are guys that we can lean on and rely on. Offensively, uh, you know, I, I, we're replacing John McClain, a four-year starter. Um, he, he's one of those guys we talked uh, very strongly about last year, a guy that uh, statistically is one of the top in the RMAC. And um, you know, we're, we're right now we have some young kids that are, are looking to replace him. And uh, as a coach, um, I feel very confident in what's, what's uh, coming up is our, with our young players. Um, we know that they are young, and when being young, there will be mistakes. And uh, when there is mistakes, our other players on our team have to step up and, and pick up for those, those two players. Um, the other part of that with being said is uh, last week, I think there was a, or a couple weeks ago, there was the RMAC Hall of Fame. Uh, one of the quarterbacks uh, that we got put in was Justin Coleman, a guy that was playing when I was playing in the RMAC. Uh, terrific football player, threw for over 100 touchdown passes. Uh, they put out a, a top 10 list of quarterbacks um, in the RMAC. And when you look at that, uh, in that um, overall uh, um, touchdown passes. And when you look at that list, uh, Shadow State had three of them on that list of 10. And what do all three of those guys have in common? They have the same coach. And uh, Coach Stein would be ready to get, get that next quarterback uh, ready to take over the reins uh, for Shadow State. Uh, as far as our other positions go, um, our receiver core, uh, we think that that's going to be one of the, the positions that we really lean on um, as our season goes. Uh, Kyle Vinich, who's sitting right next to me, is a terrific athlete. Um, he's super tall, super fast, and he's a guy that catches the football. And, and when you have a guy like that, uh, a young quarterback will very, feel very confident in throwing the ball to a guy 
uh, like him. Um, also, you have Daniel Boyle, who's another one of those guys we'd say is a football player. He's on every special teams and, and a guy that uh, is very important to our team and will be a guy also that we lean on. Um, running back wise, uh, we have Cody Paul who's, who has some carries. Uh, we also have Derek Jackson uh, who has some carries. Both of those two are going to complement each other very well. And uh, we are excited to get those guys on the field. I know that Cody's ready for his chance uh, to, to take over the reins as that next guy. And I know that Derek's going to be pushing him every bit of the way. So it's exciting to see those two players and to have them in our backfield. Um, offensive line wise, uh, that, that's going to be one of those positions where we're going to get better as the, as the year goes on. Um, where we need to replace two first team all conference football players. Uh, one of them was an All American in Michael Lorenzo and Sam Parker. Those, between those two, we have a ton of reps uh, within, uh, that, that played a ton of reps and a ton of games, and uh, the two young guys that are going to step in and, and take the spot there, I know they're excited to, to take that and, and take the reins of being one of the next uh, offensive line for Shatter State. Um, and uh, that pretty much concludes you know, what we're looking for as far as our team goes, and we're ready, uh, I guess, to answer some questions. Yeah? One coach, Creighton Rabs from Hero Sports. Um, I'll, I'll actually direct this first to, uh, to Dylan. Chapman's only, uh, uh, only got one defensive lineman returning, experienced defensive lineman returning in, uh, in Wolfini Aaron. So uh, if you look down with Dylan, who are some of the guys on the defensive front who you think are going to have a big impact this year? Um, defensively, overall, we had a really good spring. Olafemi did a really good job. He's got the most experience, but Tyler Keese. Also did a really good job, and we've got other guys like Truett Box, Austin Powell, and then our nose guards, Mitch Collicott and uh, Tanner Winholtz. Uh, they all had really good springs, and overall, our defensive line is probably the best it's been in about three or four years. And, uh, Kyle, uh, you go into a situation now where we're, we're really heading, in, heading into the preseason. Uh, you, have, you, have, you have quarterbacks who have not really thrown a, game, thrown a pass in, in a game this year. Talk about uh, how, talk about that for a minute, like getting getting adjusted to a new quarterback, and who you think looks, who, who's really, which among the new quarterbacks have really impressed you so far? Um, I think they're all very like competing very well, and this, this fall I feel like one will really stand out, but they all have their traits, and uh, it was key for me to come back this summer and kind of work with them and throw the ball around a little bit and develop a chemistry with them, and. Uh, yeah, I feel like they're all competing hard, and whoever gets it is going to deserve it, for sure. Coach Dave Collins, Eagle Communications. Chapman, uh, I'm curious what do you think that decision might get made on the quarterback position? And if there were four guys in the spring going in, is it still a four-man competition, or has that been whittled down even more? Uh, yeah, after going out of spring, you know, we, we whittled it down to top two. And um, when we go into to fall ball, the, those two will take the majority of the reps um, with the other two, um, you know, taking the, the third and fourth um, team reps. And uh, I'd like to have the decision made today. I'd like to stand up and say, this is the guy. Um, but ultimately, we want to make sure we make the right decision. And um, how do we do that? It just comes down to getting reps in practice. And the guy that fits our team the best is going to be the one that's going to be the starting quarterback. Coach, uh, there's three Chapman State alums as head coaches now in this conference. What do you think that says about Chapman State as an institution and what it does to uh, create that opportunity for guys to have head coach roles? You know, when you look at Shattered State and our, and our history, uh, you know, we've got over 500 wins as a football program. Uh, we've won, you know, numerous uh, conference titles. We've been, you know, to the playoffs numerous times. Uh, we've been a top 10 team. And, uh, you know, in the past few years, Pueblo has taken those reins in, in, from us. And uh, when you look at it, you know, that's one of our, our, our goals is, you know, get those back. And um, when you're a team that has a ton of success, uh, such as Shattered State has had, people try to pick coaches off of your staff. And um, Coach Smith, who's the head coach, I think he's the all-century RMAC uh, head football coach at Shattered State. Uh, he was my head football coach. And he's also John Reiner's head football coach. And Jazz Baines uh, coached underneath uh, Coach Boyle and Coach Smith. And, uh, and then Coach Martin, he's a little bit older. Uh, he might have coached them, I'm not sure. Um, but uh, you know, in regards to that, you know, when you do have success, other schools want to steal them. And um, you know, I think that's just a great attribute to our program. Uh, Connor, you missed a significant time last year due to injury. How, how difficult was that for you to sit out and not be out there on the field knowing how much of a competitor you are? And, um, how are you feeling coming into this upcoming season? 
Uh, last last fall was tough, um, but can't do much about an injury. I just kind of took it day by day, um, building building back my body, um, coming back mentally. Um, I'm extremely excited for this season. Uh, we got we got a lot of guys in the secondary um, who could who could make some plays, come in and and really make a mark on our team. Trayvon Mosley had a great summer. Um, Brian Wood looks great. Um, Joey Hopkins. Um, I think I think we're really excited. Um, to get things going next week, and, and I know I am. I'm ready to get back on the field and quit standing on the sideline. <laughs>